Guys, this right here is a Big Mac. Do you have any idea how much McDonald's spends every year on their advertisement? They spend $450 million. You know why? Because this Haram Burger, Haram Burger, is valuable to them. Now, on the flip side, when it comes to promoting a DAWA project, how much do you think DAWA organizations' budget is? And I'm talking about organizations that don't compromise their DAWA. They keep it 100% Quran Sunnah without doing anything dodgy. Our budget. So remember, on one side, on one side, we have he's comparing the money that people said, uh, spend on. Haram burgers, and then he's comparing it to the other side of how much people spend on dawa, but not all kind of dawa. True dawa. By the way, I don't know if people do. I need to explain this. Haram means like sinful in Islam. Dawa means like preaching Islam. Okay, inviting people to Islam. Right. So he's comparing the money. The McDonald's spends on his haram burgers <laughs> compared to. How much money is being spent on spreading Islam, but not all Islam, the right Islam, the true Quranic Dawah, okay? Again, these details are important. We'll get back to these details, okay? Our budgets are nowhere near close. No, nowhere near close. Our budget... Wait, hold on, hold on. I wanted to... Be ...out doing anything dodgy. Doing anything dodgy, okay? So, what do you think that is dodgy in this guy's by this guy's standards, okay? Like a lot of things that me and you guys consider Islam, this guy considers dodgy, like not Islam, like not true dawah, right? Obviously not the Shias. Like oh my, like that is bed uh, on top of bed. Uh, like that is Shia, of course not Shias, or. You know, the Sufis, oh my God, the Smileys. Like, of course those people are not spreading Islam, according to this guy. But this guy's standards, a lot of Sunnis are also not spreading Islam, okay? Like, this guy has, this guy, this guy is doing true Islam, okay? Like, real, re the authentic, grade A Islam, okay? So he's like, yeah, not all Dawah is actually Dawah. Hold on. Sunnah without doing yeah. any here yeah, yeah. let's let's I, I wanna i want us to pay attention to the to the vocabulary that he uses okay 100 percent quran oh, uh, come on organizations that don't compromise their data they oh, nope a little bit behind organizations yeah. budget is budget and i'm talking about organizations that don't compromise their data mm. they keep it 100 percent quran sunnah without doing anything dodgy dodgy our budgets are nowhere near close. Right. Now the kuffar don't feel shy to put their money. The kuffar. Who? What is he using an example of kuffar here? By the way, kuffar guys. Kuffar, uh, uh, you guys all, all know this, right? Kuffar means unbelievers. That means like you guys in live chat and me, but not just us unbelievers. McDonald's. Okay, so the kofar, so when he says kofar, he's not just talking about us anti-theists anti or anti-Islam activists. No, he's not just, he's not, no, 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 he's not just talking about us. He's including McDonald's and their advertising budget as part of kofar spreading their corruption and their kofr across the land okay this is how you know guys you know how i ma we make fun of the woke here sometimes on youtube with you guys and twitch by the way hi shout out to our twitch followers um that the wokey people they want to make they they try to find racism wherever where there's not even when racism doesn't exist. Again, racism does exist, but they try to find racism in places where there's no racism because they want to make their enemy 
bigger than what it actually is because they become they want to become more irrelevant than they actually are because the bigger your enemy is the more you are needed we have to sometimes remind ourselves that these woke sunny people they're baby they're tiny they're just newcomers in this game okay the christians and the muslims hashtag not all have been doing this for ages okay so just because these woke sunny people are like new and sometimes like they get on your nerve don't make them you know we still have to remind ourselves like these guys these guys here they have been playing this game much wider for ages okay so again if we are if me get me here and apostate prophet and abdullah samir and harris sultan if we are the anti the the kofar we're tiny i mean look at us i mean apostate prophet is the one with the biggest subscribers but even him and all of the rest of us combined compared to the people who are doing dawah and spreading islam they have oil money behind them right they like the, they have government money behind them that turkey is spending money on sp spreading islam outside of turkey malaysia is trying to fight islamophobia iran is spending is spending uh spreading it, their version of shia islam. they have they have government budgets behind these things the madrasas that they're building the mosques that they're building if you compare that to us tiny like anti-islam advocates I told this to Sarah Hader when we were in London. And yeah, she told me that's scary. Like I told her like we were in a co secular conference and there was a um that was run by Mariam Namazi and I remember looking and there was a lot of top ex-Muslim activists in that one room at that time, right? Uh Muhammad Sayed was there, Sarah Hader was there, um Jimmy Bangish was there, Mariam Namazi was there. Um, a whole bunch of other people were there and I was looking around and I'm like this is like half of the world's entire anti-Islam activism right now in this one room and this is it and I thought like I told Sarah that like look this is this what we have here this is it at least half of it and this is the only thing that we have going up against the giant industry of Islam and she was like, yeah, that is pretty, I don't know what exactly she said, but she was saying like, it's pretty, I don't know, disappointing or scary. I don't know exactly what she said, but she said something like that. Like, yeah, like it seems like a David and Goliath kind of situation, right? But the only way somebody like this could flip the script around to make us look like the Kof, the people, the anti-Islam world of Kof to be big and them to be small is to make the kof haram burger to make mcdonald's part of the land part of <laughs> the anti-islam world for some goddamn reason right uh, <laughs> like you have to make everything that is not islam is anti-islam this goes with the mentality of daro islam and daro harb right so dividing the world into two you have the house of islam and what is not the house of islam is the house of war right seeing the world in this black and white mentality this has come something that is part of islamic tradition but we'll get back to that okay so for the only way for you to see mcdonald's as your enemy is because everything that is not islam is your enemy Right, so the, all of a sudden, the advertising budget of McDonald's becomes the money that is being spent on fighting Islam, and then you have to compare that on the money that they're spending on spreading Islam. And again, they do this on both sides. They have to make the kof so big by including McDonald's and everything else that is not Islamic. But they also have to make themselves very tiny by having such a strict criteria on what is true dawah, what is true Islamic preaching, 
because obviously Shias and Ismailis, those obvi- obviously those are out of out of the picture. But even in their Sunni world, they, they it's just them. It's just them that are doing the right Islam. Everybody else is wrong. Okay, so let's. But again, I'm I'm going to come back to this. Behind what they believe in, because they value it. But we know for definite that they don't value their burgers and their haram meat more than we value the book of Allah. Oh God. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> See, that's, so, us non-Muslims, okay, so these Muslims, they, they have their sacred things which is their Quran and their Allah and their Muhammad and they are dedicated, they will, they will give their lives for their sacred things but what about the land of the Kurf, the non-Muslims? what is their sacred things? it's Big Mac! do they give their lives for their Big Mac? are they willing to go to war for their Big Mac? no! their sacred symbols, they're not, they're not dedicated enough <laughs> to defend their Big Macs <laughs> oh my god guys oh and guys I'm not look at this okay this is a major channel okay this is a channel with two hundred three uh, two hundred and thirty eight thousand subscribers this video got one thousand two hundred likes only twenty nine dislikes and this is, like, the audience loves, like, this is not, I'm not showing you something fringe, okay? I'm not showing you something fringe. I'm not going out and picking somebody that is, like, insane. This is, this whole Daro Harb, Daro Islam thing is not a fringe thing. But, but, again, I'll get back to that. Then why is it that we become so- Wait, Marcus said something funny. I have to highlight it. Where is it? I can't find it. Uh, Marcus saying, can you imagine if Armin didn't become an atheist and he would grew, grew a beard just like that and yelling to us, subscribe to Islam, subscribe now. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Guys, did I miss anything in the live chat? Guys, if I miss anything important in the live chat that you want me to read, can you please repost it, okay? I'm trying my best here. So tight-fisted when it comes to Spending money on La ilaha illallah. Wait, are you gonna ask? Is he gonna ask for money? Um, so he's like, he's like, you guys, like, look at the kuf, look at the people who are, um, the the kuffar. They spend such amount, uh, such amount of money, so much money on their kuf, right? So much money on their haram burgers. So how come you guys? How come you guys don't spend money on spreading true Islam? You see, it's embarrassing that you will struggle to find a house on planet Earth that doesn't know about McDonald's and doesn't know about the Big Mac. Yet, there are houses that don't know about La ilaha illallah. Wait, come on. La ilaha illallah, okay, that's an Arabic phrase. But which houses do... Show me, show me the houses that don't know about Islam as, at all. Actually, that would be a challenge. I think, I mean, I'm sure you can find it, but are you going to be able to find houses? I mean, I don't know which is going to be. I, I bet you there are more people who don't know. I mean, both of them are very rare, like Big Mac. Like, yeah, there are more people in the world that don't know what a Big Mac is than people that don't know what Islam is. I mean, if you specifically ask them about la ilaha illallah, maybe they don't know what that is. But if you ask them, have you heard of about it? have you heard of Islam? The vast majority of the world has heard about Islam. So, yeah, no. That's an embarrassment. For that reason, I mean, come on, man. Like, you know how many? Do you know how much money people spend on spreading Islam? Do you know how many madrasas and how many? Um, mosques go there's government where are the like you do you know like first of all we are beating you guys like we are defeating you people are leaving islam on such scale that i i couldn't even imagine right and they're being exposed like 
to anti-Islam narratives, even though we don't have a we don't have your budget, we don't like the anti we you know back McDonald's they're not they're not your enemies idiot like they're not spend they're not trying to defeat you we are okay we are the people who are trying to fight against Islam and we have done so much even though we have like so like our donation levels are so tiny okay we have like 160 something patrons right do you know like we we, we can't we don't even know if we could pay our rent with that money right we don't even know if we're gonna have enough to keep the people that we employ every month we have to be like can we actually keep paying the people that we keep paying like we have to struggle like do you know what we will be able to accomplish if we had one over ten thousand of the budget of one of your major institutions that care in the united states oh my god do you know what we, we do you know what we could do do you know how much last one we could spread across the land god damn i can't i'm just imagining the things we would do yeah but no dude like we're we're not that you know we're tiny we're very very tiny okay so yeah you keep pretending that you're going against a giant enemy brothers and sisters i'm gonna ask you to get involved in an investment that's gonna benefit you yeah guys and in, get involved in an investment that's gonna benefit the whole world uh, link to our patron in the description. So he's going to use this as a way to ask for money, I think. So I'm going to do the same. In your life and the next life. Huh. And that I is think... to support hmm. our social media data project. You're going to struggle. Hmm. And this is respectfully a challenge. You'll struggle to find a <gasps> data organization that's got as much output as us. I mean, look at our productivity and look at our reach. We're the closest thing that you're going to get right. to a mainstream uncompromised, fully 100% classical, pure understanding of the Dean on social media in the West. I mean, I don't know. I don't think is, I mean, he's right though. He's right. He is one of the main, like what he, what he says is closer to, um, classical Islam than most of the other YouTube channels, Islamic YouTube channels I watch. No, I can't. KJ is saying, can you give an estimate of the time when all religions will be dead? Nope. Sorry, I can't. If anybody gives you an estimate, they're, they're lying to you because nobody can know that. If you find someone better than us, if you find someone that's doing it better than us and bigger than us, hmm. go support them. It's on you. Okay. Um, better, more original than, more classical Islam than this guy. Just that the only person I can think of is Daniel Hayraju. But he's right. He's one of the he's one of the best ones when it comes to keeping it really close to authentic Islam. So I'm not gonna deny that. He's he's right about that. You need to go support them. But if not, brothers and sisters, we're doing a job for you. I don't yes. know about you, but I gave my life to this cause. I gave my life to it. Kufar can put one hundred percent in behind Wait, is this the real Apostle Prophet in live chat? Okay, if this is the Apostle Prophet, if this is the real Apostle Prophet, then it's, uh, it, we cannot, we cannot um, deny, we have, we have our Prophet. Our, our Prophet has spoken. Okay, so yeah, it's 200 years. From now on, everybody asks me when religion is going to die. I have the answer. We're not, we're not going to, we're not going to argue this anymore. Okay. Guys, every time anybody asks, 200 years, when all religions are dead, okay? But, hmm, I would say it depends on our activism, okay? Because the Apostle Prophet seems to suggest that no matter how much activism we do, religion is going to die at the same time, regardless of our work. And I would disagree with that. And I would tell you that no, it's not just a function of our time, of time. It's also a function of how much activism we do. I would say that, but I'm not gonna, because the prophet has spoken. And what? Haram food. 
And we can't do that behind what? The speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without any... Okay, so if somebody's saying AP here is for subs, AP doesn't need subs from us, trust me. <laughs> but go subscribe anyways to AP. We need subs from AP. <laughs> yeah, we need some AP share some of the subs with us. Ta'ala. Without any further ado, brothers and sisters, donate at the link below and let's get La ilaha illallah spreading around the world.